SU senior Joe Ortega was door dashing last week at the Popeyes off of Ponce. She noticed a man off to the side who looked hungry. When she offered to get him food, this was how employees reacted. No, ma'am, you can't why, do it. I, why? No. He's asking for food. Ma'am, you can't do it. I don't care nothing about you recording me, baby. May I have your name so I can let the people know? I picked up the phone and started recording. So I'm like, this is ridiculous. Are you serious? Joe Ortega says she was just trying to do a good deed. I can't order for this homeless man right here who asked for food. Her initial disbelief that employees wouldn't let her buy a two-piece for the man experiencing homelessness. They called the cops on me, everything, bro. Quickly turned into anxiety when the cops showed up. At that moment, I was terrified. I thought I was going to get arrested. So I, said, I was like, well, maybe I should just call my family and tell them I might not be coming home tonight. APD confirmed that they did respond, but they didn't do anything since Ortega didn't break any laws. She says they actually commended her. The officer pulled me to the side and was like, I really thank you for doing that. Thank you for buying him food. I appreciate that. Also grateful that man with the empty stomach caught in the middle of all the drama over drumsticks. My name's Jazz and uh, thanks to Ortega says she eventually got a hold of a general manager at the store who felt terrible about the whole thing. She said he ended up letting her and Jazz buy anything they wanted that night. Oftentimes the homeless are treated like stray animals, stray cats. Like if you feed them, they're going to keep coming back. We don't want them to keep coming back. And in all of this, I believe that, you know, people deserve to be treated like people. And after all the online attention, Popeye has said in a statement to Fox 5 that all of their employees at that store have been retrained on how to talk to guests. Ortega has started an online fundraiser to help Jazz find permanent housing. In Atlanta, Rob Durianzo, Fox 5 News.